All right, it's a gorgeous day here in Crescent City. It's also very, very windy, but I'm not gonna let that stop me. After all, I have electric assist. And I'm gonna go take a ride. Still in Crescent City, but I'm gonna go out to the farmland. And at the end of a long road, there is a hiking trail. And uh, it's very, very beautiful. The ride there should be very, very nice. And I, um, there's some historical stuff out there that I wanna go check out. So, all right, let's go. Come on, Myrtle, let's go. All right, so I'm riding on Pebble Beach Drive, which is the fancy part of Crescent City. It's got uh, just these amazing views. And I really like to take this road because it has a very nice bike lane and it's very beautiful. Oh, look at, there's a lot of surfers out there today. Oh, the colors are just magnificent. about 4 30 in the afternoon and sometimes the winds really drop off in the late afternoon all right so i've turned away from the ocean and i seem to be a little bit more sheltered from the wind which is nice anybody spend any time on the coast particularly the Washington Oregon or Northern California coast you know that wind is it's just part of life living on the ocean all right so I have taken Northcrest to Lake Earl Drive and now I'm going to be turning off onto Lower Lake and I'm going to take this all the way to the end and this road skirts the Lake Earl Wilderness Area, which is a huge wilderness refuge. And there's a lot of paths for hiking and mountain biking, and uh, people can take their horses on some of the trails too. I'm headed for a trail that I have seen horses on. Um, I've walked a little bit of it, and it looks to be trike friendly. I hope I can fit through the gate, the entrance, because you know everything's closed, so there's just a small entrance, but the horses got through it just fine, so I'm optimistic that Myrtle will fit as well. I think this truck is probably a milk truck. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Taking milk to market. So this is the uh, Alexander Farm, one of the biggest dairies in the area. And they have a Scottish Highland who just had a little calf. And I think the calf's name is Rowan. Oh, hello, Rowan. <laughs> how sweet, huh? Look how cute.
All right, so this is the destination for today's ride. And this is the Ontucket Cemetery. It's a memorial cemetery. And it's a memorial to one of the most lethal massacres in US history. So this area is the Toloa tribe. I think that's how it's pronounced. I'm not sure. And in the 1850s, when the white man arrived and started to settle Crescent City, what is now known as Crescent City, a group of 33 men came here where the Toloa and lots of other tribes would meet one couple times a year for the summer and winter solstice and they'd have a very big gathering. It was a 10 day event and the Crescent City man came, surrounded them in the middle of the night and killed them all. It was about 600 people, Indians that were killed in that massacre by about 33 men from Crescent City. And so this is um, a village of, what was the village of Yontaket and it is known as the Yontaket Cemetery. And now of course it's just a, it's just a memorial. I don't really think there are any actual graves here. But some interesting history. It was a lovely ride here, very windy. And even though I'm still in Crescent City, it was about 15 miles to come to get here. Kind of, you know, securitous way. I didn't go directly, but um, took the quieter streets. And I uh, started with a battery on my electric assist. It wasn't even half full. So I've switched to my second battery. So now I'm good for another 60 miles or so. And I'm going to just kind of walk around here and enjoy the peace and quiet in the nature before I head back. I might try and get a little bit further on this trail. I think this is a horse trail, so it may go quite a bit further. We'll see what kind of, kind of uh, courage I have. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, so if something happens, I'm not really sure what I'll do, but ah, we'll take our chances. But uh, just a gorgeous, gorgeous place. Sad history. All right, I couldn't resist. I had to go a little bit further. This trail is supposed to be a loop. I don't think I'm gonna go quite as far as to take it all the way around, but I thought I would take it just a little bit further and just kind of get a feel for it. I'll try it another, another day. It's getting to be kind of late. And I was hoping to get back to town in time to do a time-lapse of the sunset. It's so windy, I think there's going to be some really nice clouds. Yeah, this looks really nice, so I'll do this another day. And I think I'm going to turn it around now and head on back so I can get to the coast for the sunset.
home after a long day ruminating in the fields. Oh, looks like we're, we've got excellent timing. <laughs> Hi, babies. 